Harry, what stood out to you most about Luis Hill? Strike one. <clears throat> um, he was he was getting that all night. He was able to land his breaking ball through some good change-ups too. So he he had a presence with his secondary pitches, and you know as we talked before the game, the fastball really plays. I mean it's it's great velocity, but great great characteristics to it. And you know he was he was pounding the strike zone. You had three guys making their major league debuts tonight, and you really hold that Orioles offense down to, to one run. Just overall, what does that say about the depth in your organization and the job those guys have did tonight? Yeah, I mean, they, they, they were one of the big stories tonight. Obviously, Luis getting us off to a great start, six strong innings. Riding's coming in and, and you know, showing you why he's kind of rocketed through the system this year a little bit you know it, a little glimpse of of what he's capable of that was really good and then and then Kerner being able to finish it off for us and uh you know give us a little bit of a reset down there in the bullpen too so um really strong night on the mound for the guys you mentioned ridings first batter he faced he was down the count 3-0 comes back to get the strikeout what does that say about his confidence in his stuff and really his his poise on the mound. I think it says that. I think he is confident. You watch his delivery. He's in control of himself. Um, you know, it's been a minor league season for him where it's a ton of strikeouts and not, and not a lot of walks at all. So it's been a guy that's been a strike thrower down there. And you saw two really, really, really strong pitches with the fastball breaking ball combo. And what did you think of Heels' presence on the mound tonight? Well, it was great. You know, he was. You know, I, I thought he worked work quick efficiently he was getting the ball you know I thought he was on a, in a good rhythm I thought Gary did a great job back there with him kind of guiding him along uh, the willingness to and trust in, in some secondary pitches and some certain counts um, was big um, but just really encouraging to see him come out and and get in a good rhythm and pound the strike zone because if he does that you, you saw the stuff that that's going to allow him to be successful if he's doing that Andy Martino, you're next. Uh, Aaron, you might have just been referring to this with the secondary pitches, but the, the word on heel, obviously, is that the fastball and the slider are really good right now, and that the changeup is just, you know, coming along a little bit behind it. What did you see from those changeups you threw last night? Tonight. Yeah, I thought I thought he flashed some good ones. Um, you know, almost got a couple punch outs on, on a couple down in the zone where Santander finally got to him. I thought he, ex I think it was a three-two-one maybe to Stewart. It was a really good pitch. Um, so, you know, overall encouraging. You know, the biggest thing with him, we wanted him to come up and kind of get settled and 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 be able to pound the strike zone. Um, and and he did that. And you saw you saw the stuff that's going to play if he does that. Go to Dave Lennon. Hey, Aaron, you, you guys really seem to be enjoying uh, Riding's performance in the dugout when the camera showed you guys. I, I don't know what you guys were kind of enjoying more at that period. Was it him throwing 100 miles an hour or that breaking pitch that he was dropping on guys in, in, in between there? It, yeah, I mean, the, the, it was our first time seeing him, you know, in person. Um, and, and the stuff was impressive, for, you know, from the side. And, and, you know, he had a little motion with it. I had a little strut out there and, and, and some things. So, um, you know, I think we were just impressed with, with his demeanor, you know. Um, and, and, you know, after falling behind that first hitter, just, just going right after him and trusting his stuff. And, it, and it's been a rough stretch for you guys, obviously, with, with some tough news the past couple of days and stuff. I mean, what does it do when you see a couple first-timers go out there like tonight and really have those kind of nights? I think it probably brings something a little bit different for the club, right? Yeah, just, I mean, it was needed, you know. I mean, you know, we're expecting Garrett Cole to be going tonight. And, you know, that's tough news to get when your ace is, you know, goes down um, and, and you're wondering how you're going to, you know, for, forget, replace him. Uh, I mean, but how you're going to cover those innings and things like that. And to have Luis come up for the first time and really, really shine and and, and embrace the moment, um, it was much needed. And, uh, and again, you know, th you know through, through all this adversity that comes our way, it's, it, it does create opportunities for other people to step up and um, contribute. And, and we got, you know, some meaningful contribution from guys that came up today.